Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech. And in this video, I'm gonna be testing out a NVMe SSD that I never heard of the brand or manufacturer. I'm not sure how you pronounce it correctly. Uh, Roxiana or Raniaxia, I don't know. Um, Ranziana, Ranziana, let's say that. Comes with a three year warranty, it's an NVMe SSD. It's actually got some pretty decent speeds according to the Amazon website. And I talked in a previous video about not sleeping on these drives because a lot of the components, controllers, uh, flash uh, inside them specifically may actually be utilized in some of the well-known brands, Crucial, SK Hynix, so on and so forth. But this NVMe SSD is called the S500 Pro. Uh, nothing on the backside, everything's right here on the front, obviously below the sticker. And there goes all your flash. And I'm assuming the controller is going to be up towards the front here underneath this sticker. Obviously, this sticker is not thermally conductive. At least this one is. Uh, for the other ones, they usually are. And so we don't have a heat sink cooler on it. I do suspect with this particular setup or system, because it's just a bare bone system, I'm kind of using it as a test bed for now. And eventually, I'm going to upgrade it and my son is going to take over the system still with this ssd so we're going to be coming back with a long-term you know endurance test and performance to see how it is but i really want to just get this set up see what the speeds are crystal disc marks stuff like that and see where it benches see if it's actually hitting the rates the read and writes where it specifies on the website and then just do a basic review because even though this brand is something i never heard of that doesn't mean it's not good and a lot of people will skip past this on Amazon, Newegg, or what have you, uh, thinking that it's just some no-name brand that they shouldn't even consider. But when they got pretty decent pricing or they're you know, priced pretty competitively against the branded ones or Crucial, SK Hynix, Corsair, whatever it may be, it may be something to consider. So let's get this slapped in here and we'll see what the results are. So I had some time to play around with this drive. I did find a couple things that are a bit concerning, but first let's talk about me butchering the name. My apologies uh, for the uh, manufacturer of this product. It's called Fang Sung, a little red insignia right above. I, may, I just forgot that it's an F, not an R. My apologies. And the listing does it justice. Uh, I'm not sure about the 640 terabyte uh, written endurance but it does perform a little bit better than its listed speeds of 3500 and 3000 right and if we look at some of the data that i have here i did a number of tests and we can see you know with the 3d mark score it gave it a 2080 which isn't too bad compared to you know all the other brands that we're familiar with on this benchmark right here we're we're, we're basically seeing throughout all of it it's about 3000 writes and 3600 reads it doesn't matter what test i'm doing it's about the same now this one kind of fell off but pretty much every single one is pointing around 3,600 reads, 3,000 to 3,200 writes. That's the performance numbers that we're getting here. And uh, when I look at, you know, Passmark, the system did very well. And it wasn't the hard drive or SSD that's, you know, holding it back. Obviously, it's dated hardware, but the, at least the, the SSD or NVMe drive is in the 80th percentile, where even the CPU, a 2700X, is in the 75th percentile. So that wasn't the key factor of holding back the score. And when we look at the drives on this comparison, obviously it's lesser than the 960 Evo, it's lesser than the 970 Evo Plus, but it pretty much beats everything else. Obviously it's gonna beat your standard 2.5 inch SATA SSDs uh, in performance, but at least it's keeping up with some of the known brands out there. The only concern I have is throughout all my testing, if you look very carefully, the temperature readings are a little bit odd to me, right? So the, the low we had was 39, the high was 42, but then look at all these other temperature indicators, 51 all the way across, 52, 53, 54, 56, all the way to 57. So I don't think it's accurately reading or maybe they're dummy sensors. I'm not entirely sure. And we know with these NVMe drives, especially when you're using and hitting them with heavy loads, they can get pretty toasty, but I didn't see any performance degradation whatsoever throughout my test. And you can see it's pretty consistent all the way down. You know, 3,000 on the writes and 3,600 on the reads. So I don't see that being a problem. This would be a great drive to slap into your, you know, your uh, system or your laptop, um, you know, whatever it may be, maybe even a NUC or a small form factor PC 
Now, its little brother, the S101 one terabyte, did pretty good. And on this list, which is very long, you can see it's pretty much in the mix there with some of the models from Kingston, Samsung, uh, so on and so forth. And again, it didn't hold us back. It was actually one of the better performing components on this system compared to everything else. So it's going to be able to do everything that I needed to do, which is to allow my son to be able to, you know, complete his schoolwork, make music, edit music, stream videos, YouTube, game, the whole nine yards. And as far as endurance, I'll come back and see how that performs, you know, just calculate once we get to, you know, 1% down, we're down to like 98% drive health or whatever. I can calculate from there what would be the overall endurance of this drive, you know, how many terabytes written it can handle. So I'll come back and give you an update whenever I can. But for now, that's going to do it for this video. Don't sleep on these drives or components that you don't know the name of, right? You never heard of the brand because nine times out of 10, um, they may be using components that your favorite manufacturers or brands are utilizing. Not all of them, right? You got to be careful because some people may be trying to rip you off, selling you a 30 uh, terabyte at USB drive that just keeps rewriting itself and writing over the previous content. And then some people actually do have good components or good hardware, but they get slept on. So I hope this information helped you out. Uh, we'll see how this drive perform in the long term. But that's going to do it for today's video. Please do me a favor on the way out. Hit the like button. Make sure to get subscribed. Hit the notification bell to stay up to date as well as check out links in the description. Those support the channel. And I will catch you next one. Take care.